Welcome to another how-to. This time we're discussing broken springs or spring fatigue and it's time for spring replacement. We'll be working on our E-Station 4.5 and, and tools you'll need. Uh, Wilson Tool Spring Compressor Kit. Retaining ring pliers which come with the kit. Take your 10 millimeter Allen wrench, 4 millimeter Allen wrench, and replacement springs spring or springs and a bench vise. Let's disassemble this guide. First we remove all four socket head cap screws or, di or disengage them from the spring pack unit itself and then spin off your upper spring pack pressing in your adjustment push button. Once disengaged fully remove spring pack. All right, we'll set up our Wilson tool compression kit in our vise. Put the block in first, tighten it down. Pay special attention to the location of the retaining rings. You do not want them in between the blocking. Put your bolt in, thread it down. Take your 10 millimeter Allen wrench and compress the spring. You're looking for roughly a quarter inch of compression to remove that spring. Once done, move to bench and let's remove that retaining ring. Spring's been compressed. You'll notice there's room in between the retaining ring and the spring pack. We'll take our retaining ring pliers, we'll line them up into our retaining ring grooves. These do tend to break on the ends. As long as you can get it into that notch, this should still work. Once engaged, open retaining ring and remove. This is the result you're looking for where this retaining ring isn't quite removed and is floating. Now we'll take our uh, compression tool back to the vise and we will loosen the spring pack. With your 10 millimeter wrench and your tool installed securely in your vise, you're free to loosen your springs. Go slow. And there you go. Bring your spring pack back to the bench, remove your bolt, and then remove spring pack components. At this point, we're gonna to wanna to check for visible wear or galling on the edge of this punch holder. They'll be inside these gro this groove. Remove your broken or worn springs. Check for visible wear. Pressure cracks can occur. You'll want to check that by washing the spring off with, the, uh, with uh, methanol or alcohol. And uh, you'll check to see if there's any visible spider webs or cracks. Those springs are fatigued and beyond recommended use. And replacement is in reversal. Going back to the vise, we'll want to make sure our retaining ring is centered on top of the pad, the compression tool pad, and then we'll bring our punch, our spring pack back to our unit. We'll lock it in place, secure the head, 10 millimeter angle or Allen wrench. Tighten. Rule of thumb on tightening is you want to see the spring below or slightly at 
the dust shield spring cover. Or if you're not running a spring cover, just compress the springs about a quarter inch total. Remove tool from vise, back to the bench to reinstall retaining ring. With your retaining ring pliers, simply find your grooves in your channel, open retaining ring, slide over punch holder, engage in track. Back to the vise, tighten back down once more, loosen, draw bolt, Spring pack is ready to be reinstalled on your punch and guide assembly. Spring pack assembly back onto punch holder, installing onto your buttress threads. Once engaged, the spring pack adjustment shaft. You should feel a click and lock. You want to back that all the way up to the top by holding in the adjustment shaft and rotating the punch driver until it is seated completely in the punch holder. Check to, to make sure you have lock. Reinstall socket head cap screws. Once again, check for the Wilson Wiggle. Driver assembly is complete.